I want to talk today about MCP or Model Context Protocol. This is a way for us to give our agents uh, access to a kind of uh, dynamic toolbox that they can use for any service we might want to interact with. So rather than having to give the uh, agent a list of tools individually and explain what they all do and give it some set instructions on how to use each of these tools, we can simply just connect it to an MCP, MCP server for that service and it will be able to uh, find out which tools are available, select the right tool for the job, and then execute that tool. Practically speaking, that means we can go from this to this. So let's have a quick look at what it looks like. This is the setup you'd have had to run if you were um, using an uh, agent setup for a firecrawl agent without using MCP. So as you can see, we've got 10 individual tools all, um, all linked up to the agent here. I'll show you one example of a tool. So it's uh, got a description here. So I'll scrape a single web page with advanced options for content extraction. Then you'd have some kind of URL uh, API endpoint, and then you would have some body and you might pass in some dynamic URL. And you'd have to do that 10 times for all these individual tools. And then also in the prompt, if you come in here, you'd have to write a very, very detailed prompt. Um, so you give it a, a role objective, uh, explain what its purpose is, give it some clear instructions. And this is the main thing here. You've got to explain what all these tools do. So you've got to list out all the tools. This one is Firecrawl Scrape. Explain what it does, what are the required parameters, and what are the optional parameters. Um, and you have to do that like 10 times for each of these tools individually. So this is obviously quite a, quite a complex setup. And this is just for interacting with one service. If we compare that to the setup with MCP, we can just look at, we just have two tools connected here. Um, this is a node called list tools. So this is just uh, connecting to the MCP firecrawl server using the list tools function. And this one is the same, except it's using the execute tool function. And then in here, we just use the from AI function to say that the tool name that you'll call is the, the one that you decided to use from the list tools function. And if we look at the prompt we have for this agent, you can see it's significantly shorter. So it's just a simple, very basic instruction. Some instructions just saying, always oh, start with the list tools function, select the right tool, and then execute the correct tool. That's all we've got in there. So we'll compare that to the other um, agent prompt without MCP, and you can see it's significantly easier to put something like this together. Let's have a quick demo. Let's say, um, what is the latest article on the on openai.com? So it's using the list tools function uh, to see what tools are available. It's done that, so now it's gone back to the OpenAI chat model, and now it's going to hopefully execute a tool which will allow it to look at openai.com. Uh, and retrieve the correct information for us. Here we go, so it's finished. The latest article on OpenAI's website is titled Introducing Foro Image Generation, published on March 25th. And it's got a link to the article here. There we go. Um, so let's have a look and see what's um, kind of happened here. So the um, the first thing it did was, was it used the list tools function. Um, and it's just, it just, all it does is get a, get a response with a list of all the tools. So you can see this is, this is effectively what we would have included in the prompt, um, for the agent without using MCP. It's got a list of all the tools, a description of what they use and the exact schema it has to, to do. This is all provided by the MCP server. So we don't have to include that in the prompt, which makes it much simpler. So it's got a list of all these tools. Then it goes back to the back to the chat model with all the information and it uses the LM to decide, okay, which tool do I need to use to execute this command? Okay, so it's used uh, the firecrawl scrape tool. It's put in the parameters correctly. It's um it's given the it's given the URL and it's um given the correct parameters to get it in markdown. Uh, and then it's got a big response. So then it's used the OpenAI chat model again and it's given us this answer. So all of that from this 
extremely simple prompt. There's a slight caveat here in that you can only use these uh, MCP nodes if you're on the self-hosted version of Anytime, uh, because the these these nodes here uh, are community nodes. So you have to go to the settings, to your community nodes here, and install this one, which is nan-nodes-mcp. So you just paste that in there and install that, and then you get access to these um, to these nodes in your workflows. Um, there's also a list of, on GitHub, there's a list of um, MCP servers that are available. So there's quite a lot of different services. These ones were built by Anthropic, I think, um, to kind of demonstrate the use cases for using MCP uh, in tool calling. <clears throat> there's also third-party servers, which are official integrations, which are have been made by the companies themselves. So all of these should work quite well. They've been developed by the company so that you can use their services in your um, in your agents. And this this list is growing all the time. This is the Firecore one that I was using. Um, I'll show you how to get that set up. Um, and then there's also some community servers which are not made by these companies but made by a third party. Um, so you can use these at your own at your own risk. But I think most of them should be most of them should be okay. So how do we get a MCP server set up? So we just find the one you want to use. So this is the Firecrawl one. I just do a control X for MPX. And we're looking for something that looks a bit like this. So this has got all the information we need here. So if we go back into one here, one of these, we'll just um, add a node, MCP, which you'll see this pop up once you've installed the community node. And we'll just do list available tools for now. So I'm already connected to my credential here, but you just need to go to create new credential. And then in here, we'll just put npx, because that's what it says here. The arguments are dash y and firecrawl mcp. So the arguments have to be separated by commas. So we just put, sorry, by spaces, sorry. So dash y space firecrawl dash mcp. And then there's a list of environments we have to set up. And this one is just just one here. It could be more than that. Um, but this is just an API key. So we'll put in uh, this here. And then you have to put equals and then put in your API key for Firecrawl. I won't run you through how to do that. Uh, and then save that and then you'll be connected. Um, and that's exactly how that is set up. This is very much just a quick introduction to MCP and using them in agent tool use. Um, I'm going to go much more in depth um, over the next few videos. Um, it's quite a, it's a relatively new thing um, being able to power these agents in NA10 with uh, the MCP protocol, um, and it's they're developing all the time. So more servers are being released. There's more stability. Um, some I have run across some issues sometimes on my hosting. Um, because sometimes they can get, they can use a lot of resources and sometimes I've known them to crash the server. So then I wouldn't say that there are a hundred percent, um, uh, stability yet. And I wouldn't use them necessarily in a production environment that was quite critical. Um, but I have absolutely no doubt that this, um, this MCP is the, that is, this is the future of agentic tool use and there's going to be, um, you'll be able to build some extremely powerful agents with much simpler builds rather than having to build out multi-nested agents with m multiple different tools and sub-agents and sub-agents of sub-agents. You'll be able to do a much more streamlined setup and just give increasing amount of tool access. Lastly, this is the uh, this is actually the first video I've made in several months. Um, I've been away for a while and I was getting this new recording setup sorted, but uh, it's all good now, so I'm going to be producing videos a lot more regularly on agents in NA10, various uh, no-code AI use cases, and uh, definitely on this development of MCP um, as it gets more and more powerful. I'll leave links to the resources in the description below, including all the list of MCP servers, uh, the, the list to the community, the link to the community node. I'll link to my newsletter, which you should definitely join. 
um, and uh, a bunch of other resources as well. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.